take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. One useful clue in telling rat and squirrel feces apart involves the edges of the stools. Rat droppings often are pointy on the sides and much thicker in the middle. Squirrel droppings usually have softer, more circular sides. Point two six September 2017. Let's help you make your mark. Squirrel droppings closely resemble rat feces. Both pests poop as dark brown and smooth, but squirrels leave larger, barrel-shaped pellets behind while rats produce small, oblong-shaped droppings with tapered ends. Point three September 2019. Let's help you make your mark. Squirrels qualify as crepuscular animals, meaning they become most active during the evening and early morning hours. During the night, squirrels will settle down and spend the night resting in their den. If there are any squirrels in your home, you'll most likely notice them during the day. Point one nine July 2018. Make your mark take our lead. Other animals such as mice, gerbils, squirrels, cats and dogs can also get infected and may or may not get sick with rat bite fever, and can spread it. Rat bite fever is thought to be rare in the U.S. persons who handle rats as part of their work or children who live in rat-infested areas are at higher risk of this the 16th of June 2020. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.